Support for this episode is provided by Mohawk Finishing Products. From sandpaper to fill sticks, Mohawk has all your finishing needs. I make a lot of frames. I find that framing my small paintings makes it easier to sell my paintings. And I've got a few videos on YouTube on how to make frames and I'll put links in the description to those videos. Today I'm gonna to show you a really simple way to apply gold metal leaf to the front of the frame and I'll get started by protecting the sides of the frame with painter's tape. First I should mention that these frames have already been sanded and finished with two thin coats of lacquer. Next I'll use 150 grit sandpaper and rough up the edge. For that classic look of the red color coming through the gold, I'm using a flat wall paint and the color is Cinnamon by Benjamin Moore. The gold metal leaf comes in a 5 by 5 inch book like this and since I'm doing frames, I'm going to cut the book into strips. After letting the paint dry, I'll lightly sand it with 320 sandpaper and then give it another coat and sand it again. That makes the surface really smooth and that's what you're looking for. I finished sanding the second coat and now I'm applying the sizing liquid which is basically the glue that will hold the metal leaf to the edge. I've let the sizing set up for about 20 minutes and now I can attach the metal leaf. I'm using this larger brush to knock off any of the loose gold metal. To reproduce the look of authentic gold, I'll add a small band of sizing about every three inches, and this will look like an overlap in the gold leafing. I've let the sizing dry for about 20 minutes, and you can see how the gold leaf just sticks to where the sizing is. Now I'm using a rag with a little paint thinner on it and I'll wear through the metal leaf revealing some of the red underneath. I'll spray the frames with a thin coat of lacquer, and this is Finisher's Choice Clear Lacquer by Mohawk Finishing Products. If you don't have a spray system, you can also use a spray can, and I'll have links to all the products used in this project, along with an alternative for the lacquer. With the lacquer dry, I'm going to use 150 grit sandpaper to knock off any high spots or loose gold leaf on the inside of the frame, and I'll be careful not to hit the front edge. Now I'm using white latex paint, this is just wall paint, flat wall paint, to paint the inside edge of the frame, being careful not to hit the front edge. If I do hit the front edge, I can wipe it off with a damp rag before the paint dries. The paint is dried, and now I'll remove the painter's tape and spray the frames with one more coat of lacquer. Okay, well, I'm really happy with the way the frames turned out, and I think the paintings look great in the frames. It's, uh, it's real important for artists to realize that it's much easier to sell your artwork if it's framed, wired, and ready to hang. It's just a lot easier for the client to 
kind of envision it somewhere in their home. I should mention that I did fill the little nail holes in the sides of the frame with the color match fill sticks and I'll have links to all the products used in this project in the description below. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.